Good morning. It's Saturday, 23rd of July, 2022, and you join me on the ride down to um, Completely Motorcycles, which used to be Skellens in Worcester, for the Tracer 9 GT's uh, second service or annual service. Uh, so I thought I'd just do a, a quick video just to catch up with uh, where we are with everything <coughs> and um, just update you with what's going on. So uh, we got back from doing the Argyle and Butte to a Paul and I uh, two weeks ago today, two weeks uh, previous today, after having uh, three days or three full days up there on the bikes which was uh, this was great I'm just uh, in the process of editing the, vid the videos at the moment I've done the first two and uh, I'm about to start the third and uh, yeah it was a cracking tour apart from on a couple of days day one and day three uh, the uh, Wednesday and the Friday the weather was a bit crap to be quite honest it r rained or we got a very very wet let's put it that way and I think the videos capture <coughs> how wet we got and how miserable uh, it, we, I was in particular at times because of the sort of incessant weather and the fact that my boots had leaked so I've got over that problem now I bought some new boots uh, TCX boots I'm wearing them now just breaking them in first time on today so yeah, so my boots let me down, so I had boots full of water, which would made it a bit uh, a bit unpleasant to be honest. So we did the uh, three days, we, uh, we visited um, pretty much as much as we possibly could really. We did go over to the Isle of Butte, but we pretty much did all the, uh, the other parts of our goal, the main parts. And uh, it was a beautiful place. Uh, I went on the Royal Enfield and that performed absolutely flawlessly for the, uh, all the time they're out there riding it, so it's, uh, I'm loving the bike more and more. It's a, it's a cracking bike. And the next uh, um, tour is a week on Monday, uh, so that's the 1st of August when we do the, the tour of the North Coast, including the NC500. I don't want to call it just the NC500 because we're doing more than that. So the itinerary really uh, is that on the Monday we're heading up to uh, Holt Whistle, uh, the centre of England hotel in Holt Whistle, for our first night out. On the Tuesday we leave Holt Whistle and we're going to go up through Kilda Forest via Kilda Reservoir uh, and up to Perth and we're going to take in the, uh, the Falkirk Wheel and the Kelpies on the way to, uh, way to Perth. And then we're in the Holiday Inn in Perth uh, on day two. Uh, next we uh, are departing Perth and heading up to uh, Wick. Um, and we're going to go via the Cairngorms up to Wick. So we're going to go up through uh, Glenshees, uh, Braemar, Balmoral and then up the coast to Wick. Uh, for the next night we've got ourselves a little uh, two bedroom uh, apartment in Wick for that one night. Then the uh, then we sort of start to do the uh, the coastline proper. So we leave Wick, we're nipping up to John of Groats, uh, just to get our so we've been there, get a photograph with the sign. And from John of Groats we're across the north coast then uh, up to I think is it Durness? Where is Durness? And we're going to go and have a little whistle stop uh, visit to Durness and then we'll come down sort of start to come down the west coast to Ullapool so we've got a night in Ullapool at the uh, at the ferry boat in uh, leaving Ullapool we're going in south then again down the coast down the uh, on the on the NC 500 route we're going to go and do uh, Balak and the bar <coughs> and then uh, drop down into uh, Fort William, so we've got a night in Fort William then, um, 
that's just about the name of the place and the, the uh, bed and breakfast in Fort William but we're there then we drop down the uh, drop it down then to Gretna which is for you know really the final day and we're going to come through the uh, oh what's the mountain range that uh, brings you down to there uh, it'll come back to me we're going to come through there Glencoe Glencoe so we're going to come down through Glencoe down past Loch Lomond round Glasgow and then down to Gretna uh, night in Gretna then at the Days Inn and that's it then the uh, Sunday is we, we, we pretty much jump on the motorway then and uh, take the motorway all the way back home and that's the uh, that's the job done so uh, looking forward to it looking forward to it um, it's just the four of us going there's uh, myself, Kev, Paul, not the Paul that went not the, the Argyle Paul, the other Paul um, Paul Hickman he's coming uh, so that's Kev, Paul, Brian and myself just the four of us and uh, that's, uh, that's the week after next um, sadly on Monday I've got my dad's funeral so I've got to go up to uh, up to Garstang and uh, pay my last respects and say goodbye to him at his funeral on Monday uh, so a little bit of a sad start to the week but uh, moving into a more positive note the week after yeah so, uh, so I'm just taking the, uh, the Tracer 9 down for its service now um, going to completely motorcycles which uh right ahead close that's that one uh it used to be skellens worcester uh, very very uh n nice dealership um great people work there hello gary and uh so i'm going there to uh to have the uh the Tracer 9 service. I'd run out of opportunity. I tend to use them in the past. A street bike, not really a street bike anymore. So sadly, so that they won't be doing with me all my service in uh, Tamworth Yamaha. They give me great service when they did the uh, recalls on it, but a bit of a jaunt over there. I suppose this is a bit of a jaunt in some ways, but it's yeah, you know, it's a small, it's a it's a nice company. So let's give let's give them the money. So that's pretty much that. Um, so unfortunately, day one, part two of the Argyle and Butte video is a little bit uh, crap. Because the, uh, the the rain and the moisture and the precipitation or whatever it was or all of that just really played havoc with me uh, with my recording kit. So I've uh, managed to cut together a video from what I could salvage, but. Uh, it's uh, it, it hopefully catches the feel of the day, if nothing else. And uh, but day two was uh, was a lot nicer, uh, and uh, it's just a, the amazing thing about uh, our Golden Butte that we found is the weather would change on a on a sixpence. It would turn on a sixpence. You would it was it, sun was out, a bit like this, hundred yards down the road, cloud and rain. A bit further, sun's out again. It's uh, it's really strange. So you could never, never sort of go. Oh, we're gonna have a sunny day today. You're gonna, you're gonna have a, oh, we're gonna have a sunny five minutes. That's about as best you could do with it, really. So that's a bit of an update on where we are with uh, with things at the moment. Um, so I say there's gonna be the the next sort of tranche of videos. Really, are gonna be oh, 50 down here. Are uh, are um, going to be the Argyle and Butte videos and then the uh, the uh, Scottish Coast Scotland Tour Scotland Tour including the NC500 uh, so I'm trying, just trying to find a name that really fits what we're doing or a title for the tour that fits what we're doing so uh, that's updated you on where we are. I don't intend this to be a long video, it's just a short update just to tell you about, um, a bit about what's coming up and what we've been doing. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you again shortly as we get down towards uh, Skellens or brackets completely motorbikes. See you shortly. I can never remember the way to 
gallons, let's, so let's hope I've cracked it this time. Uh, this looks like familiar territory. Uh, is it that way or is it that way? I think it's this way. That's, that's the cathedral, isn't it? Is it? No, but I'm in the right direction, I'm sure I am. I think we're good. That's the cathedral. Up ahead. What's the cathedral? You cracked it boy, you cracked it. always coming from the wrong direction. There we are. Bloody hell, Pigeon. Right. Now we're all serviced up. Yeah, so our servicing is all done now and I'm heading back. Uh, probably with the fuel up on the way. Right, so I want to go a slightly different way. I think I want to take a bit of a scenic route back. So I don't want to go that way. I'm going to have a change of plan. I want to get the other side of the river. Lemster, Hereford, that'll do. That should put me in the right direction, I think. Yeah, that's it. No, we're out there. Should have gone straight on in the first place. Ah, that's better. There we are, now we are again. We get out of the Worcester traffic. That's it, over the river. Busy today. Very busy. That's the one. That's it, we've got to cross the river. So that's the service done. Very reasonably priced, excellent service from Scallons or completely motorcycles as they're now known uh, in Worcester highly recommended highly recommended great value and first class customer service 
Um, yeah, so uh, I'm heading home now, but I'm taking the scenic route. So uh, there might be a little bit of a uh, little bit of twisty twisty for a few miles to conclude the video. Oh, pigeon close there. So uh, if you like the back roads of Worcester, stick around. Hopefully a bit of a uh, little bit of open road. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully I'll see you all again soon uh, some more Argyll and Butte and Scotland North Coast videos. All the best and uh, see you soon. <laughs>